what is this? Lay's Taste of America. Flavors inspired by the places you call home. Eight flavors. Sold out. I must collect them all. Find in store. Or if I look on eBay. $130? Fine. I'll do it myself. I am Steve Rogers. Oh, I didn't know we were using our internet names. I'm the fat hipster. But where is Cajun Spice? I'll do you one better. Who is Cajun Spice? I'll do you one better. Why is Cajun Spice? I've done it. I've collected them all. But what was the cost? Everything. That is if everything totals $50.63. Thanks. There's only one thing left to do now. So here I am, about to review all these chips. All these chips. Alright, so we have all eight of the regional flavors. This is the deep dish pizza inspired by the flavor of Giordano's. Uh, it's the only one that has like a sponsor. Fried pickles, the Thai sweet chili, chili con queso, pimento cheese, Cajun spice, Chesapeake Bay, crab spice, and New England rock lobster roll. Some of these I got directly from Lay's America. And then I got three other ones from three different places. I got the fried pickles with ranch sauce by posting online and getting in contact with someone who had them. He even sent me two bags completely free. Thank you. And his plug is patreon.com slash Asterios. And the other two that I did not get from Lay's, New England Lobster Roll, bought this on eBay, Cajun Spice. Originally I was going to try to have a friend find this. Um, he lives in Florida. He went all around looking for it and was not able to find it. Uh, popped up on eBay, so I grabbed it while it was available. So if those end up being more crushed or less crushed than the ones from Lay's, then that probably tells you something. And I'll be right back. All right, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everyone out there, let's get this review done. Uh, the first flavor I'm going to try is the one straight from my region of the United States, the deep dish pizza. Now on the back it says, inspired by the Giordano's pizza recipe made famous in the Midwest, here's a taste of the iconic stuffed deep dish pizza. Legendary cheese pole, anyway. First impression is always what it smells like. It definitely has a tomatoey sauce smell to it. So here's a couple of the chips. Definitely got a red hue to them. Some spice. Definitely has that pizza flavor. If you've had Pringles pizza flavor, very similar. I gotta say, I really like it. You can see the chips pretty well intact. No complaints. I like this one. First one I've tried, and so far one for one on flavors that I enjoy. The next one, let's go ahead and do the Chesapeake Bay Crab Spice. It says, inspired by crab shacks along the Atlantic, here's a taste of the bay with custom blended spices ready to savor. Let's get cracking. So it says it's Atlantic and it says that it's a taste of the bay. I'm wondering if that just means like Old Bay Spice. Let's go ahead and give it a try. First impression is always what it smells like. Does it smell like crab or crab spice? Definitely like a seafoody smell to that. Um, 
and definitely an old bay spice so i don't know if you can see that but those kind of look broken a bit when i try to grab a couple uh chips that are full size the color is not too different than the pizza ones you can see it's an orangish red definitely has a, a seafoody smell to it interesting if you were to just give me this without telling me what it was I would be confused it has a little zippiness to it like almost vinegary all right I can tell it I can taste the bay in there there's definitely some some bay leaf type flavor in there the more you eat it the more that bay flavor comes through Chesapeake Bay not bad I, I still think the the deep dish pizza one tastes better pizza spice pizza flavoring just tastes better to me than a little bay seasoning but so far, I think the two flavors I've had taste good. So, let's go ahead and try Sweet Thai Chili. This description says, inspired by the food truck scene of the Pacific Northwest. So now we're Pacific Northwest. Get a taste of Thai sweet chili sauce with a hint of heat. Food lovers rejoice. This should have a, a, a little bit of heat to it. Get the smell first. Oh, it's like a vin definitely has a strong vinegary smell to it, like a, almost like a uh, salt and vinegar chip. There's a coloring, almost no like color from the spice. You see little speckles of green. Not sure what that green is. It's a good taste. I don't know if that was that chip, but it felt thicker than the other ones. I want two. Okay, I want. Okay. Those ones. Those ones were the same thickness. I think I just grabbed the first two chips. I grabbed were a little bit thicker. It says there's heat, but I'm not sensing any at all. I'm going to taste a couple more in case it's something that just builds. Zero heat. The flavor I get is like a vinegar flavor. It's definitely sweet. And the more I let the flavors meld, I get like a... Asian inspired flavor, maybe like a teriyaki or a soy in there, along with some sweet peppers. Another one that I think tastes good. Now let's move on. We have two that are like cheese dominant flavors. First one we'll do is chili cone queso. The description for this one says. Inspired by legendary Tex-Mex of the Southwest, here's a taste of velvety cheddar queso with a dash of spice. Who even needs guac? So this is from the Tex-Mex area, Southwest of the United States. And this is velvety cheddar. I'm thinking like Velveeta. So maybe this has a Velveeta flavor to it. Get that smell. Definitely a strong, almost processed cheese smell. You can see what it looks like in the bag. There you go. There's like a dark yellow, almost orange, more of a dark yellow. A lot of speckles on there.
This is familiar. This flavor. It tastes like a chip I've had before. A lot of these people. A lot of these pieces are broken. It tastes like if you took a sour cream and cheddar chip and just added some spice to it. Not a ton of spice. We had some spice, enough that you noticed it was there. Not bad, not bad. I definitely eat it. But uh, so far, probably the the most normal of the bunch. Just tastes like something that already exists. Inspired by Sunday socials and Southern charm, here's a taste of a creamy, sharp cheddar and pimento pepper. Y'all are so welcome. So Southern, I'm not sure what Southern region. Let's see if the pimento cheese flavor will do us any better. Oh yeah, these have a different smell to them, but they're still like it's still a cheese smell. But almost like a powdered cheese smell. That's what it looks like in the bag. I don't know if you're able to see that every time I do it. But this has more of a, a lighter orange color to it. cheese is supposed to taste like. But if it's that, I don't want it. Hmm. This one's the worst that I've had so, so far, by far. Whereas the chili con queso one tastes like something I've tasted before. It's still okay. This, the pimento cheese one, it almost tastes like the cheese in it has gone bad. Not extremely bad, but it's definitely turning. Mento cheese so far is the worst. It just tastes bad. Anyway. Inspired by a deep fried favorite of the Midwest at Midwest State Fairs, get a taste of fried pickles with ranch. Who's ready for a ride on the Ferris wheel? Like I said, you know, the Midwestern flavor. Let's see if it smells like pickle. It does. In fact, I didn't have to do this. When I opened it, I smelled dill. So there you go. The chip doesn't have much color to it, but you do see some green speckles on it. Interesting. I've had dill pickle flavored chips before. And this one says it's fried and it has ranch on it. I gotta tell you, this one's like the lightest flavored of them all. The dill is definitely the most prominent flavor here. I gotta say, like, I don't know if I taste the ranch. Hmm. I'm gonna say, better than the pimento cheese one. But an overall flavor punch is low. Let's go ahead and do the Cajun spice next. Inspired by the flavors of the Gulf Coast, here's a taste of garlic, paprika, onion, and oregano. Les le bon temps royer. I don't know if I said that correctly. There's some French on there. Les le bon temps roulet. That's what my, my guess is. I'm not uh, trained in French. These definitely have the most color already. They smell good. I don't know if you can see the color of them in the bag. 
but uh, takes it out. If you look at that, there's definitely tons of color on that. Most of the chips in here are, are full. So if I ever sent me these from eBay, you pack them good. I would have to say the flavor reminds me of barbecue. I've been to Louisiana. I've had Cajun food. I wouldn't say that the flavor in here reminds me of anything Cajun, but it tastes good. Somewhere in the middle of all these. All right, the last flavor I have, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is New England Lobster Roll, inspired by lobster shacks of the Northeast. Here's a taste of fresh lobster served on a buttery grilled roll. It's wicked good. So yeah, this is the Northeast, uh, New England area. I've been to the Boston area, I've had a lobster roll there, so I'm familiar with what this should taste like. Let's give it a whiff. It has like a creamy smell to it, like either sour cream or a mayo-y kind of smell. Light in color, few speckles. Tasty. These ones definitely range in the sour cream and onion area. I wouldn't say it tastes anything at all like a lobster roll. I'm going to read the ingredients to see if there's any lobster in it. New England lobster roll seasoning, which it has is salt, skim milk, spices, sour cream, butter. Yeah. Sour cream, that's the what that's the flavor. So it definitely tastes like sour cream and onion chips. With a little subtle differences. It tastes really good. So let me give you my top four, my bottom four. In order, the pizza one tastes the best out of all of them, I think. It tastes like Pringles pizza flavor, which I love. And these are good too. I think number one. I'm not saying that because I'm from Chicago. Number two I'm going to say is the sweet Thai chili. It definitely has a uh, salt and vinegar flavor to it, which I really like. And um, then with some subtle spice, subtle sweetness to it. Next I'm going to say New England lobster roll. Um, like I said recently, it tastes like sour cream and onion. Really tasty. Doesn't taste like a lobster roll, but... I like it. And then the last one, I think, I taste it all the time to remind myself. The crab, the Chesapeake Bay Crab Spice. This one is probably is the best one that has a unique flavor to it. It's subtle, but it has that bay flavor to it. I like it. So that means the other four are my bottom four, so I'm going to go in this order. Fried pickles with ranch, 
Tastes like dill pickles, chips. Don't taste the ranch at all, but the best is the worst. Then I'm gonna go Cajun spice. Tastes very similar to barbecue, which is not one of my favorite chips. Um, but I'll eat them. And then we're gonna go with the last two, or both of the cheese ones. Chili con queso. It kind of tastes like a generic uh, sour cream and cheddar type chip. And then the worst one, in my opinion, is the pimento cheese. It kind of tastes like cheese that has seen its better days. So leave the co in the comments what uh, area of the country you're from, what chips you've seen in your stores. I know there's other flavors that I didn't do this time. Uh, there's the ketchup one. I've had ketchup chips before, I don't need to try them. I've already done the other three. There's a truffle fries, I have a video for that. I have a video for the fried green tomatoes, and I have a video for the bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. So you've already seen me do three of those four, and uh, I'm not really interested in trying the ketchup ones. Those ones are available everywhere, they're not regional. Uh, I could go to the store and get them any day I wanted to, really. But I wanted to do the eight regionals that you could only get in certain areas of the country. Now, I really should be going. Uh, all these chips, uh, not really good to just fill yourself up on chips, you know. I don't really feel too good. I don't want to go.